Tilt wants nobody. He is expecting Henny to be in the side itself. It's this bullet right here that might change the future. Oh no! Okay, oh, okay. Oh god. Crisis aborted. Henny does deliver the kill, and there you go. Oh boy. Fala galera, tranquilo? Estou aqui no início do vídeo para convidar todos vocês para participar da nossa comunidade Aleartes, um grupo relacionado especialmente para CSGO. Vamos trocar bastante ideia sobre o jogo, sorteios, lobbies, mix com a galera e outras novidades exclusivas para todos que estiveram no grupo. Então não perde tempo, é de graça e infelizmente as vagas são limitadas. Link vai estar na descrição do vídeo, basta descer a tela aí e entrar, fechou? Vejo todos vocês lá, é nóis, guys. Just pulls back a little bit, just giving the bell for all his teammates. And there it is, the first blood of the round. Coming in the second one as well, as Insani takes down Marky. And look at that, as they are already pretty much inside of the side. They're gonna be able to plant the bomb as fast as possible, but we got Total over here trying to defend. For the rotation now, the duelist making a lot of damage over here. Taking down Total as well. Bomb has been planted, and the clock has been pulled down to only 30 seconds playing against the CTs. CTs can really seem to find an easy way in. Granted, there is no util, so that boost that they got going, that better work. Take a little too much, B will take some damage though. So it's a bit of a more positive exchange. MIPR now just need to hold their corners. Uh oh, yep, you're going to be a little too much there. Carson is actually going to deliver that kill on Insani with a headshot, but I think they're training the clock really well. There is no time for the DPS now, Evan Tune. This round goes the way of like it or not, it's only a matter of seeing Carson deliver this kill or not. Will Henny do it? He sees the peaking, the rhythm is good. And the bomb will explode, it's gonna take them both down! You can just oh. use the utility as fast as possible, jump in into the into the site as fast as they can, and of course, get that bomb plant to at least secure the money. Look at that, Insani taking a kill, Henny on the other side also takes another one, King goes down, and look at that, we only got Mark and we only got Nosrak, but only with an MP9 and a 5.7, I think that's not gonna be- Oh, wow, that was actually enough to take one down, but look at that. Kills with the Mac 10 well that's just a fantastic draw, and there you go, he gets the first one! That's 600 bucks on his side. Even though he dies here, he's gonna be able to buy something real good for the next one, probably an AK. In the rapid fire sense. And it might be our throw their own util here, forcing Nouns out a little bit. They bait the bomb plan and force them out, and this is going to be the spray that we expected from them. However, they're blinded, okay! They're still gonna win the trades, but they Look lose at that. Everything's just flying into sight, just making sure that no one's gonna be able to contest that. And of course, they are already in. Bomb is about to go planted as fast as they can, just making sure the timer gets sh uh, shut down half. There it is, and a few shots actually landing against Mark over here. Well, Mexican's gone, and now that leaves us down into a 3v5 situation. The bomb is now planted, and he taking a kill against B-Wolves over here. Cynic is trying still to make that AWP work for him, but as his last uh, teammate goes down, pretty sure... Oh no, the missed shot, and he's... Oh, wait! Aggressive actually... push with the T side. They're actually waiting a little bit more. And look at that. The rotation has actually begun from the enemy. And that means... Ooh! Okay, there was a chance, but Sonic actually answering perfectly. Oh my god, taking two kills. That bomb planted because we only got 13 seconds left. Time is running out, but they do not expect three of the CTs actually already on site protected. With everything they got spraying through the smoke, just making sure that they're not gonna be able to cross. And with that, the round is over. Finally, Nouns claiming the first one. And this is gonna be... Okay, not able. Well, I mean, at, le uh, at least as long as they do not allow the whole situation going out of control at the beginning uh, to make more mistakes, to get a little bit too nervous about what happened, uh, thinking that maybe MIBR is still going to be able to uh, to get back in the game, you know, just like Henny claiming a little enemy over here with that beautiful headshot, actually, against CJ. Um, yeah, as long as they do not allow that to get in their nerves, uh, that means they can still go back in the game once more now and can actually just try to go for the comeback. But look at that, I mean, already starting this round. It was a good idea, actually, from MIBR, as they did swap for the a AWP, and now they have another Rifleman going in with them, allowing this to turn into a 3v4 situation, where they have everything available to fight against a close quarter fight. And look at that, because, oh my god, the AWP going outside of that position. Now what's going? The only player alive is going to be Carson, who is completely alone in this case. Um, has been planted, and I'm pretty sure this is gonna be another round for MIBR, just making that advantage in 20 Back. seconds on the clock. And this is looking like a little bit aggressive push from MIBR. We are not gonna have a slow round, we're gonna have a lot of blood over here. And the shed actually begins with two players going down, but this time it's actually for Nouns Esports claiming those two. 
Oh, but already refracted over here as Vincente takes another one down. CJ protecting Branson. Takes a double Ooh. as they were crossing. I cannot believe that just happened. And that just puts an end pretty much to all the efforts from now in Esports. He was like, oh, great. Two for the price of one. All because they didn't shoot it first. It might have given it away. And also, he ended up getting those skills because of the wall damage. But careful. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Carson running down to one. from MIBR is going to be a little bit better. They attack two players. However, the approach is pretty darn clear. They're going to try and move on from the stairs. And they find Cynic immediately. Now it's time to get the boost. And there you go. Carson delivers. It's going to be a trade in the favor of MIBR. Might be arguing after all that, however, but you do have Branson on 2 HP. Will he be able to clutch it? Kind of like last round, we got somebody on 1 HP. Marque is still alive. El Mexicano, he has a huge task ahead of him. He finds Branson and drops the bomb and doesn't get the kill on exit. So there's still a slight chance for CJ to go in. He only has two kills, however, would need to go on the round off a century for himself. Still a lot of time to play with two. Nouns could even... Uh, Sorry, MIBR could even bank it on, on rotating back and maybe finding CJ on the way there. But they aren't going to wait for him to peek. Well, and that's the right approach. They have committed some units now. Nouns are losing team members as CJ is gone. And the approach to B is going to be successful getting those three kills. Man, the raid are really telling us everything we need to know over here. No bomb plan just yet. However, you still need to take care of Marke and Cynic. And now only Marke remains. Somebody go in for the bomb plan, man. So many smokes to fight against, but we will cover for you. 10 seconds to go. And it might be our cutting it close, but they do deliver. The bomb is planted and only Marke remains. He is approaching the stairs. He gets two kills now, but he will be cut short. He at least was able to claim. Oh my God, look at those nades. Dealing a lot of damage against Branson. Not getting the kill though, as it was a double, I believe. He's still just patiently waiting. There it is, and Sandy landing a beautiful kill against Carson over there, as he was just trying to peek out the head. Watch out, because we still got our friend. Yeah, there it is, Branson on the other side. Takes one kill, Henny takes another one. Now total. Still patiently waiting. Fuels, however, on the other side. Got the bomb planted. And that was quite a play. I mean, that was quite a split, just making sure that MIBR was on the other side of the map at the moment that the bomb was planted. But they need the headshots, and B was his last standing hope. That last bastion of hope might actually pull it off. Wait a minute. B Wills, still alive and kicking. It's Exit against him. There's no kit. Exit needs to kill. Exit finds the kill. And now he will defuse this bomb. Dude, they claimed the pistol. Granted, the bomb was planted. So Nounce are not going to feel too bad about that money. This round right here is one of the last few they can give up. MIBR are on the verge of relocating. Careful, friends, and he was actually a little too wide open. They are not going to catch him just yet. However, Henny, oh Lord, Henny. Not taken down, even with the wall bank damage. He was overwhelmed by so many. Eventually dies. CJ delivers that kill. But I think that Henny did more than enough. Now, MIBR have gotten enough time to rotate. And they are going to take them all down one by one. Cynic is gone. And CJ blinded. He is not able to win the fight. Only Carson remains. He doesn't even have the bomb. This is it, buddy. This is really close. On the first map, it's definitely going to hurt to the enemy. And now, I mean, are they really going to have another chance on the next map? It is their pick, and we kind of do expect them to perform just as good. But look at that. Now we have the advance over here. Another kill coming in. Brinson just completely destroying, annihilating the enemy. And now the only player alive is none other than Cedric. He's got no chance. Ooh, landing a shot against Zeni over here. That's a 1v2 situation. Probably able to land the clutch over here. But he is so low on HP. The bomb is not his. And he's coming over through the side, and he's gonna be spotted. Now here comes the shot, and that's gonna be it, ladies and gentlemen. If that shot actually lands, whoever claims it first is gonna get the last kill. There it is. Henny landed the kill against Cynic and claiming the first. Precisas de novas skins? Regista-te em CSGO Fest e faz os teus teammates invejosos. Dá boost na tua inventoria em alguns cliques. Coloca o promo code e obtém bônus. Link na descrição do vídeo. Go, go, go. Nice shot. Do you hope that they can put themselves on a more respectable score at the very beginning, but they just have to wait and see. It might be our course. Are gonna go in. They blind a few players and managed to get a couple of kills. Okay. Okay, these guys, they're not dropping a bit, man. They're not dropping a beat. They're, I think the real victory from M MIBR there would be the intel. They're gonna keep holding on to brackets. As you can see, there's a pretty heavy stack of players here guarding the site. And now Carson gives away his location. Waits for Cynic to go in, but I don't really see a winning formula for these guys. And there you go, bomb located too. Oh boy. Now it's just a matter of catching the players who left apartments. I'm sure that Insani just heard those jumps. 
and he gives the intel. They line themselves up. Soon enough, we should see those headshots, but guess what? Beeble's actually kills Insanity. This isn't even game somehow. Of course, in the firepower department, Nouns were able to pick up a couple of FAMASs, so maybe I'm not going to count them out so so soon just yet. And he dies here, and it's only Exit against B-Wills, and the AD movement is solid. Exit is going to clutch it out. Wow. And look at the way that MIBR is just saying no. It's literally just saying no. The glory is all going to be mine. And well, Nouns Esports is definitely feeling that aggressiveness as well on every play over here but look at that they actually answered perfectly Carson going in with the first kill and Marky going down uh, uh ticket down turtle as well just making sure that the round is gonna be theirs at least regarding the bomb plant that's a little bit of money and well now that they do have the firepower of course they were gonna have a little bit of an advantage over here them continue it on and it's actually 14 round wizard sorry Got that one wrong, but yeah, 14 in a row that MIBR got, and now it's... You already know, there will be some flashes flying by, and there you go, that's the, uh... That's the Molly into Garden. They don't flash him yet! Actually, they do. And Henny now, unblinded, he's able to find the first kill on Senek. They're going to ambush him, though, that's the kill, but Branson on the back, he gets the trade! And only two players remain, they are gonna try and plant the bomb soon enough, they're running out of time, buddy! They're running out of time, cutting it real close! But the smoke is going to give them a little bit more room to play with. Granted, this is probably one of the, uh, one of those times in which MIPR do need to attempt a retake, and I think they just saw Insanity moving into construction as they kill Turtle, so won't be an easy way in for Insanity. Checks the side, doesn't know about the backside. Uh-oh, does he check his back? He has a kit, and an incendiary. If he sees them, he might be able to trap them, but I don't think he will. Throws the incendiary all the way back into the coffins. Now, there you go. That's going to be the round. Nouns have now done much better. Still nothing. A few shots coming in by Carson. And a little bit of damage over here, actually. Turtle takes a lot of it, but also those Marquee. And it seems that, well, that is uh, already scaring off the enemy a little bit over here. But look at that. The flash lands perfectly. Turtle finally take it down. Marquee and Frenson over here takes down Beowulf. And with another beautiful shot, CJ is down. So that is three players gone from Nouns Esports. And that was all on an equal round. Man, dude, this is exactly what I mean. Every single time I see those deagles, I don't care if this is actually an eco. I'm pretty sure this guy's here dangerous. That was the winning now. formula, and he set up for himself, walking a little bit further, and when Branson did not see him, well, the rest was history. Now they might just get their chance to get into the site. They need to pivot back, but Marque is gone, and Senny found that kill. It's an even game again, but it's all about the map control here, and they don't have an easy way into the site. Unfortunately, Exit is now blocked off because of that incendiary, or the Molly, rather. And the bullets are not going to make a difference. The bomb will be planted, secured. Well, we are down to our retake situation once again. This is a 4v4, and the last one wasn't really going off really well for MIBR. But look at that entry over there with that beautiful flash. A beautiful dual play over here by Henny and Exit. Just landing the first kill. And be careful, though, because Carson is already waiting on the corner. But Exit making wonders, taking a double Ooh, kill over here. Beavles is down. And now the last player alive is actually Carson against two players. But yep, there it Oh my god, that was through the smoke. Henny, what happened? That was crazy. And now the bomb is being defused. That was such... You know, they can't deliver the kills. Although they are being blocked off a little bit. There you go. The util actually delivers a ton of damage. Look at that. Many players down to half of their HP already. And Branson sees them approaching. Branson not going to deliver another kill. He's actually backed down because of that smoke. But it's all about the spray here. And already sh somebody showing it's Exit who gets the kill in Carson. And now he gets another one. No, he's not going to catch Senna just yet. This might be a chance for them to plant the bomb. MIBR need to go in. But Branson also holding on to his angle. Fantastic waiting. Nouns not planting the bomb yet. They're not inside actually. I mean... They keep taking so much damage, they know that it's going to be a bit of a risk. They could bait somebody out, but it's a disadvantage either way. 4v3. And the bullet here whips. B-Will's about to take his chance, and he does get it once the storm comes down. It's time to get the bonus secured. And the approach from Garden won't be too easy. Branson does not see anybody. He does have the, the up in hand. And CJ is looking elsewhere, playing anti-flash rather than not the aggressive. B-Will's peaks, and he finds Turtle. But the numbers are not going to go their way either. So there you go. I might be are living with three players. Gotta get the defuse. And also, they keep the double up for the next round, which is going just to be the key that allowed that round to be claimed, reclaimed, pretty much, by MIBR. We do have right here first blood, and it's actually claimed by Nouns Esports as well. But look at that, because Total Land and Sunny just claiming three kills over here. That was incredible, just completely annihilating the enemy. 
They finally go down, but that's already... The damage is already done, and oh my god, Henny with that shot from the AWP, and he's finding the last one. No, he's not going to be able to land that shot as Beewolves claims his life. Now the bomb... Exit gets to peak. Okay, playing carefully. Hides behind that little cart. Oh, but he's kind of giving his back a little too much. Beewolves might be able to go in. He sees them, and there you go. Round secured, Beewolves. They might just be able to find the victory if they play their cards right. Do they throw the flash? They're going to throw the smoke first. Who's got the flash in play? Who's got the flash? There you go, it's thrown out. And Henny still through the smoke is gonna find Carson. Oh my lord, it plus the incendiary to stop them on their prowl. This will be probably around for MIBR, but guess what? Now have rotated all down to Brenson. Did I see red? Did Brenson have a knife out? No, he does have the weapon out, okay. So he is able to defend, but of course they see him. And now it's time for him to come some backup. You have exit on the pivot. No smokes to throw. Nails are actually going to just raw, going in raw, which I don't think is to play, but they do take down Brenson. And now the rotation comes through. Everybody else from MIBR are ready to get the retake going. And they do have a lead in the player base. But it's all about this. The bomb is planted once again. So bonus secured for Nails. Oh, tail end of it, but they do plant it either way. Oh god, what is going on right here in Sandy? Just claiming that kill Ooh. as well. And CJ does the same thing, but Henny with that clutch kill in the end. No kill was claimed. Turtle able to back all the way down to the balcony. Or underneath balcony. Henny's gonna be wide open though. They are gonna get that kill. Take care of the upper. Now in Sandy here is trying to get some wall bank damage. He is not able to kill them all. And he has to wait for his teammates to come through. This bomb will probably be planted soon enough. They keep shooting through the smoke though, waiting for at least some wall bank damage to be done into Insanity. They barely tag him. But they keep looking into that same area. For as long as Insanity can keep them in that position, he is going to win big. But Carson is here in pit, ready to stop the approach from MIBR. He doesn't see them, though. Oh, my lord. They barely are going to get in because Carson was not able to see them. And they are going to check pit. And there you go. MIBR back. Just to make sure that the round is going to be extended a little bit. I have noticed this pattern actually coming in. Uh... This pattern coming in from nouns in which they kind of play aggressively at the beginning and they try to get as much information as possible but oh it is actually not going well for them on this one as henny claims a double with the awb and then zanny just makes the exact same thing against another player just allowing the last one to be alive but that is gonna be short-lived as exit puts it yeah, you actually gotta sum up the fact that you're down by one complete map i mean if you do not win this as good as you can Wow, and already starting aggressively. We can see X claiming another kill over here. Marky actually goes down as well. I don't really know what happened over here. But that is gonna be three players down as X claims another one through the smoke. And Sandy as well on the other side. And now the last player alive is Carson. And what a short-lived round coming in by Noun Esports as the last player alive. Gonna have yeah, there it is. Turtle coming from the side as well as a beautiful shot from Insanity. Yeah, real soon. The Flash is going to blind Henny for a little bit, but of course he knows it was his own team's uh, Flash, so he is still going to go in. They find the first kill. Turtle goes down, but Turtle is kind of used to trading here. And the refrag attempt... Oh, that's a lot of weapons. That's a lot of bullets that Preston just threw and did not get the kill uh, in time, but Beewolves is still going down. And Sugar, we are going down indeed. The Util is now gone. And it appears that Nows do get a bit of the lead here. Man, no headshots coming through. Interesting. I One thought that it might be still managed to get two kills against the enemy. Do you have them right here? Oh, look at that. That's exactly Ooh. what I meant. Insanic claiming the first kill and the first blood and the second one as well. Oh my god. EJ and Cynic already saying goodbye from this round, but still one minute and 30 seconds on the clock. Announced, but B Wills here does not get the kill just yet. And that lack of secure is probably going to put them in a bit of a dangerous spot. But he does get two before falling. So keeps Nouns in play. Two to three. And it might be R still pushing for A side, it seems. Now, they could rotate back through the arches. And they are ahead by six now. That is the bomb just signaling the round one by MIBR. Seems like they're way. gonna play it safe. They're just trying to get as much information as possible, trying to deal a little bit of damage with whichever way they can. And oh my god, that flash is not gonna be good for them, as two of them actually are already taking a lot of damage. But Insani claiming that kill against Carson is at least gonna put things a little bit on their behalf. But not really as here it goes. That nade is not really connected. Just really lucky. That could have been more than enough to bring down Exit and Insani as well. But, oh my god, 3 versus 4, and it's not looking good for MIBR, but still, they still have a lot of rounds to give away from this one. DJ 
catching Tonal off guard as he was pushing off all back on balcony. Now exit. Not gonna win that duel, and he claims a second. And I was just talking, I mean, I was talking trash about the deal, and there it is. I mean, just dealing two kills against the enemy. Incredibly well played. Senek definitely made a dent here on the approach from MIBR's side. Only Insania remains, and he is also quite lit. With 21 HP, you can't really expect to survive that many exchanges coming up. And there you go. As is the case, B-Wills is Last bonus will hurt them a little bit. So if MIBR were to clutch this one, that would be outstanding. And look at the long distance attempts at a kill that they are fighting for. And Sani is not going to win that fight, however. He's going to be the first one taken down. And now Turtle ambushed by two grenades. Oh my lord. Turtle is also the only player, the one of two, with rapid fire. And he does deliver the kill onto CJ with a headshot. And Sinek died earlier, too, by the hands of Turtle. Sorry, by the hands of Branson. So there are some positive traits for MIBR, like I told you, man. If Nels lose this one, they are not going to feel happy about the money they're going to get from the loss bonus. And also... Well, it was a situation that was kind of looking good in a certain way for MIBR as they had the uh, advantage on the numbers, but now the turtle goes down. Oh, look at that. People just patiently waiting, and it actually pays off. Renson claims another kill, but they do not know where the other one is, and that flash actually works both ways because they look away at the moment that Beavles was getting away from the position and now claims another kill against Branson. Now it's all up to Exit, who tries to get the kill over here from above. He actually does, and we are down for one uh, 1v1 situation claimed by Carson. Uh, trying to get their mags all together, uh, think up like a hive mind, and be able to pull out something over here. The aggressive play coming in, but Exit claims the first kill. Carson goes down cj claims exit game happens as insani is already out of the equation two kills coming in and yeah i mean it was aggressive it wasn't really like the best kind of push i've seen before nice retreat over here and it goes down as total is claimed but well now things are down to a 2v3 situation and it's not looking good for mibr once again as they're stuck between a rock and a hard place Make that an even harder place, but Henny is able to deliver the kill to CJ. He peeks though and loses this fight against B Wills, whom, by the way, is the second biggest killer in the map so far, getting to 18 kills now. Might get to 19. No, he's shut up. And now Turtle can go in and plant the bomb, but he is playing against a full HP Marque. Now, Marque is actually the one player who doesn't usually win those 1v1s. He has taken on Turtle before though. So we might see some success on his side. Turtle setting himself up right here on the smoke. If Marky clicks, he gets the kill. Okay, so no, nobody's going to click here. Marky going to wait and see. As the smoke and the grenade to play with, Turtle has a flash and a molly. Keeping a look at into Banana itself. Reacts to that util throw. And we're going to wait a little bit longer. Waits for Marky to shoot. That's the smoke for Marky. And now the defense is coming through. It's a commitment. Turtle walks in, shoots through the smoke, never finds him. Oh no, oh no, he's not gonna stop him. Oh, is he? Oh, dude, no. the timer! Whoa. So much needed as well. Oh god, I mean, imagine how he has to be coping right now. Not, not for me. Definitely not the way you want things to go. But they do need to play each round as it comes, and so far, not so good for Nouns after that crucial. Victory that they just got. Marky did die as well, so they had to reinvest in an M4 for him. Not gonna be felt, feel bad about that one, but it's all about the uh, defense of the sites. And like you said, it might be so much better at defending the sites. And once they go in, they're probably not gonna let go of it. And they do push CJ back. I don't see a clear way in for Marky and CJ. They're probably gonna play for the save. And finally, it might be are gonna put themselves on 13. We have now entered the true end game of things. And you know. Last round had the bits and pieces of a victory for MIBR. They might have lost it in the final exchange. But you can still feel that trend. It's only a matter of time before the flash goes through as well. They're not going to blind anybody, though. Couple of mollies thrown, and CJ peeks. He gets the first headshot onto Brenson. They know about Dark, however. They're going to aim there, and Carson takes some damage, and B will... Oh, man. CJ goes in and gets another kill. That's what I'm telling, man. It's all about CJ getting those kills. Mark, he's not able to kill anybody. It's still an even game. But MIBR are able to rotate back. They're going to throw an extra flash. Carson can walk through. And it's only Beagles on defense of A side. Will he clutch it out? Will he get a kill? If he gets a kill, there's a big chance for Nance to win it. Let's see how it goes, because here comes the advance. Beavles has nothing but only the 5-7 over here. Oh, almost landing that kill. CJ on the other side does get Henny. Exit gets the refrag over here in the Carson. 
Oh boy, Ooh, coming right at the last moment and the timer, yeah, Ooh, no. Minutes. That's gonna be match point for them. Ooh, fine market, but Seneca's able to deliver the kill onto Branson and he is still taking the aim for his butt, but not gonna get the kill. Man, MIBR are falling apart. They only have two players remaining. And of course, Cynic knows about the approach from the apartment. He's gonna set himself up to wait for them. They find CJ. That's Henny delivering the kill with the op. And the side defense is actually not gonna be favorable for announce just yet. They still need somebody else to make the rotation back. Cynic is gonna keep holding on to that angle there. Here's the util flyby. But nothing else is going to change here. B Wells, though. On the defensive brackets. Have they really made the full rotation? Okay, B Will sees them. And the throw his incendiary, and it's not going to be an easy way back, but they do find a way to return. And nobody on the outside. Carson might have been able to land the kill there on exit. Mm, they're still splitting up. Interesting. I mean, exit wants another kill just for good measure. But he's about to be sandwiched between two. He does find Beebles, though. Uh oh. And in the meantime, while he is distracting them here, Henny has almost secured the bomb plant. Exit oh, wow. dies, but of course, they're going to keep waiting for Henny. Who also has an op, plants the bomb, absolutely free. Then he got two kills that round in particular, and Henny has no util to play with. That's an even harder thing to deal with. But the angles he's holding on to, man, so dangerous. If he takes down Senek, I think that's a winning formula. Senek about to walk forward, throws some more util, blinds nobody. He is expecting Henny to be in the side itself. It's this bullet right here that might change the future. Oh no! Okay, oh, okay. Oh god. Crisis aborted. And he does deliver the kill, and there you go. Oh boy, Mesudo. Right, that the was old blood chip. definitely not looking like the trade for nouns. They do see one smoke going down. Are they gonna check the top diamond? Oh, it's Scars in here. He does deliver a kill, finds another. Wait a minute, there's still a chance for nouns, or there was a chance for nouns. Marquez is all the way back on A side, has a deagle, might be able to pick up some rapid fire on the way there, but the weapons are so close that he will be seen soon enough. Barely any util remaining on MIBR side. They could just throw those mollies on uh, on both tree and porch to earn a little bit more time for themselves. Marquee needs to go on the luckiest headshots, and unfortunately, he has actually been blocked off a few rounds now. Stuck on seven kills for the longest time, and I hate to say it, man. Oh, wait a minute. He does find one. Except the AK. Does he get the flick? He does not. This is the confirmation. MIBR are your champions of the Champion of Champions Store North American Series. No